Hello everyone. Today I'm gonna do a hands-on review of the Leap Motion Controller. This device is just released today. Uh, it's uh, July the 22nd, 2013. Uh, this is the uh, retail consumer version of the device. It's not the dev kit. So I've already do the unboxing yesterday. So uh, let's uh, just uh, skip the product part. So let me just uh, put it out. And then here's the cable. There are two cables in the box. Um, they are both USB, micro USB 3.0. And then um, just uh, they're the same cable but different length. So let me just uh, pick this one and then plug it into my uh, computer. And this is a Windows computer. And then this device works both on Windows and Mac. So, so first of all, after you plug this device in, you have to go to the uh, leapmotion.com slash setup to download the proper drivers for your operating system. So I have already downloaded the, uh, the Windows one and I have uh, already installed it on my computer. So after installation, you will see a new icon showing up at a tray. Um, so this is, you can uh, change the setting, uh, launch the aerospace store. And at the same time, you will notice there are three applications installed. One is the uh, control panel, and then another is the aerospace store, and then the other is the uh, visualizer. So let's, uh, Go to the uh, aerospace store first. So, this is their store for all their applications or games and so on and so forth, just like uh, uh, the Apple App Store or the uh, Google uh, Play. So, let's try out their orientation first. So as you can see, on the screen, so everything uh, works very uh, smoothly with your uh, motion of your fingers. So let's try out the next one. So this one is quite similar. So you can move left, right, down, and only with your fingers, all these motions will be detected. Okay, so this is an uh, image of your hand and then with all your fingers and then um, the, all the movements so as you can see so for all your uh, fingers uh, lying on the uh, horizontal ways uh, everything is perfect so this device can detect all your motions all the those tiny movement um, with very high accuracy but like if you turn your hands vertically and align all your fingers in a vertical position so this device cannot recognize very good properly and then as you can see all oh, this all going to like uh, either only one finger showing up or it doesn't show up at all so as you can see like uh, if you have to keep your motion like a more or less like in the way of you're putting your hands above it but not uh, put your hands in the vertical position
Okay, so now it is all your fingers, and then you can use one finger to draw, or you can use two fingers to draw. Okay, so this is the orientation, and then the second application I want to show you is this touch list for Windows. And then what it does is it can uh, use this device to track all your uh, movement of your finger, and then just uh, uh, simulate the action of this touch screen so you can just uh, do all the things through this controller uh, without touching your screen so let's see how it works okay I just uh, turn this application on and then as you can see there will be a uh, one pointer which shows the position of your finger on the screen and um, if you uh, move your finger slowly forward, that dot will turn to green. So that means a click. So what it actually does is they just uh, put the center of the device up and down as this is a virtual screen. So you are just uh, doing just likely you are touching on that screen. See, I just did a click on the news and then back then back to the home screen so actually this and then if you put on two fingers you can do scroll and if you put on a start enable the uh, advanced setting you can use all five fingers to do like uh, all different gestures uh, all these can be um, configured. So if you go here, you go back to Chrome. And then if you go back, oh, sorry. Go back here. You go to the home screen. Two fingers can do scroll, scrolling. And um, so this uh, is uh, kind of like a, a little bit harder than I expected, but it's a still like a very cool application, which is you do not need to touch your screen, which is very a, a very good idea if you have like a, such as you have a big screen on the wall, and then it's very hard to touch on the screen. If you have a, such a device here, uh, that will be a very good application for this. But um, it does need a, a learning curve to uh, get used to it but um, uh, it's a pretty cool application okay so oh so if all right so let's um, go back to another application um, as you can see here this one also works with uh, Google Earth okay so if you start Google Earth so this device will kick in and then start working automatically so as you can see you can move the earth any way you want by your gesture so if you go forward it will turn the globe forward and you backward left right zoom in zoom out so this one works pretty nicely and then this is a very cool thing to play with zoom in and zoom out Oops. Zoom out. Okay. So another third party app builder built the uh, some uh, map application 
called here.com leap. So let's see if we just uh, pick any city here. And then you're just like uh, flying a plane using your leap control. Oh, so I'd better uh, start, uh, stop the tracking of the other application first. Okay, so basically you can uh, fly a plane here and then uh, work around to see the city. Had to go down, go up, turn left, turn around. Pretty cool. Still, like, this is not my first time playing with this. Uh, if you are playing this for the first time, it does need uh, some learning curve. Um, you will have to uh, get used to it, but uh, after you get used to it, this is uh, really, really cool stuff to play with. And then there are thousands of uh, possibilities. You can do this with different games, applications. Very, very cool idea. All right. So, let's see. At last, I can show you uh, a game. Okay, so basically here, showing your hand and uh, you can have showing two fingers three fingers four fingers one oh, two so basically there are two games to choose from uh, so this one you suck you grab this and let's throw it back in Okay, so let's, uh, if we pick the fourth one. So you are using uh, all your fingers to control all those ribbons. And then they can make some uh, music and rhythm. As you can see, all those movement was tracked with very high accuracy but the only drawback of this is this is the drawback of this device I don't know whether they can fix it in the future but I do believe they can do something else uh, do it much better so if you put your fingers vertically to this device it cannot track it like uh, very good see not too much movement of all four fingers only one is moving so if you put it horizontally uh, all four fingers will be tracked very um, with very high accuracy okay and um, this is it so uh, we will wait and see any other good games coming to their store oh sh sorry I forgot to show you their stores so if you go to here is their uh, app store so right now there are already several uh, apps on there and then you can choose from there are uh, a bunch of them uh, free ones so if you're interested just uh, try them out okay so uh, this is it thank you for watching